Hey, welcome to another GIMP tutorial. This is just very basic stuff. Um, I know there's a million videos out there or whatever, but um, this is just the basics. Um, you got your layers right here, which I kind of went over a little bit in the last video. Uh, you got all your tools here that you'll need, your brush, brush stuff. Um, right now, I'm just going to open a picture just to show you... Uh, couple things real quick it's just a HD black background um, I was gonna show you some of the brush stuff uh, if you pick the brush type um, I use one of the fingerprint ones that I just got those ones are pretty cool um, let's say you want to use this one you're gonna want to change the color of it to where it doesn't uh, blend in with your background or whatever so you want to pick a different color rather than what you've got there I'll just go with uh, all white and then see it shows the outline of what the brush is gonna do when you actually click on the mouse so when you click there put it on there and then you can pick you can put all sorts of stuff it don't matter you can mix and match everything um, I just got some vehicle ones, some lightning. The lightning's pretty cool. Uh, you just pick which one you want here. Uh, I guess I'll go with this one. You can make it bigger and smaller right here. If you push, if you click the scale slider and slide it to the right, it'll make it a lot bigger. You just click on the page and it puts it in there. You can change that. I don't know, there's a lot of settings on there. I don't usually mess with a whole lot of them. Um, these bullet hole ones, those ones are pretty cool. Um, I mean, you wouldn't want to put all these on one page. I'm just kind of showing you some examples of some of the cool brushes or whatever. But, uh, yeah, some of these vehicle ones, um, like a motorcycle. Oh, make that a little smaller. Here, I'll take some of these off. That's a cool thing, too. Uh, anytime you make something that you don't want to do, all you got to do is hit edit and undo, and it'll take it off. Um, let's see what other brushes. Some trees, like dead trees. I think that's what this is. I haven't used these ones yet. City buildings. Those ones are pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to undo this last paintbrush too here. Check out this city. See, this would be cool for making like a wallpaper for uh, your computer or whatever. Sure. See, so it just pasted it in there. Um, another thing too, like... Uh, Okay, say if I was wanting to make this my desktop background and I wanted to bring in one of them. If you didn't watch the text text creator video, that one's a good one as far as making custom text. But if you wanted to import one of them logos that you made, you would just go to File, click Open as Layer. I'll just use uh I'll just use this one I think. See and then it puts it right here on the screen. Just click the little cross thing to move to grab this and move it. Make sure that it's the one that you've got selected too. If it's 
with the background selected you'll move the background out and you have to line it back up so make sure it's the text and then just grab it anywhere on one of the letters drag it up and see it's a little too wide right now too so you can do the scale tool just click the scale tool and then click on whatever you want to edit you can either put the numbers in here or you could just drag these little squares plus you can link it to where it doesn't um, change as far as its dimensions from side to side and then up and down you know it'll stay the same here um, I don't usually have it linked though I just grab the side drag it in that's pretty easy and then wherever you want to stop it at just stop and hit scale see so it made it smaller and then you pick your little move tool again drag it over to where it's centered see so that don't look too bad a little quick quick uh, background but once you get everything how you want it to I'm gonna make some more on some other the editing stuff and some of the filters you know adding effects and stuff like that to it but this is just kinda basic um, you know how to make a quick quick background image or a little uh, picture for your website or whatever sites you're on um, so once you get it how you want it you go to file save as and then just pick whatever test logo whatever you want um, and then down here you want to select the file type and I usually just go JPEG and then hit save once you hit save you gotta hit export and then you gotta hit save again and then it saves it See, so it's right here, and then you can double click on it and check it out. If I wanted to set this as my back, my desktop background, I just right click, set as desktop background, check back in. Peace.